it's time for you to grow into a flower. What's up, Franny? Not my flower. I planted the seed last week. What's taking so long? You have to be patient, Franny. Seeds take time to grow. What if it doesn't grow at all, Grandpa? We can always plant another seed and try again. Cherry Pits, I want my seed to grow. A customer. How can we help you today? My grandmother's old pilot boots are too big for me. Yes, I think they'd flap right off your feet. I want to wear them when I fly my plane at the air show this weekend. I'll put in some lifts for a nice snug fit and you'll be flying high. Franny, can you make sure these land in the fix-it box? Sure, Grandpa. They're taking off right now. Zoom! <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Whoopsie! Actually, it's a jet plane. It's a passenger jet plane. How can you tell? With my binoculars, take a look. Thanks! I'm Franny, by the way. Hi, I'm Noah. I can see people inside. Those are the passengers. Another jet plane. But I don't see any people in this one, Noah. Pass the binoculars, Franny. I'll tell you what kind of plane it is. It's a cargo jet. It carries packages and boxes and mail. You know a lot about planes. I love planes. When I grow up, I'm going to be a pilot and fly my own airplane. It'll have hand controls and everything. I like your wheels. Thanks, they help me get around. What are you doing? I'm waiting for a special package to come in the mail. I need it to finish my project for the science fair today. I can guess what your project is about. Airplanes! That's right. Do you want to see it? Sure. Follow me. This is the runway where the planes take off and land. This is the control tower. It tells the planes when the runway is all clear. And this is the airport, where the passengers get on and off the planes. Noah, your project is fantastic. Thanks, but it needs one more thing. It's here, it's here. <laughs> It's all in pieces, whatever it is. It's a model airplane that really flies. At least it will when I put it together. Let's see. Propeller, fuselage, wings, tail, check. Wheels, check. That's landing gear so the plane can roll down the runway. A rubber band? What's that doing in the box? Pictures. They must show how to put the plane together. I don't need the directions. I know what an airplane looks like. There. All ready for your science fair project. We better give it a test flight to make sure it really flies. This is your pilot Noah speaking. I'm ready for takeoff. This is Franny in the control tower. The runway is all clear, Noah. Have a good flight. <laughs> Oopsie. Hey, it was supposed to fly. Can I try to make it fly? Okay. I know. I'll throw it really hard. <laughs> was that it? Did it fly? <sighs> 
No, the star I ordered the model from said it could really fly. Maybe it just needs a running start. <laughs> now, Noah! <laughs> Why won't it fly? Well, it's good at flying down. For an airplane, that's not good. Your plane can still be in the science fair. Just tell everyone how it's supposed to work. It would be more exciting if it could really fly. Oh, like that jet. That's not a jet. It's a propeller airplane. I can tell from the sound of its engine. Its engine? Yes, a plane needs an engine to fly. Maybe the engine for your airplane is still in the box. I used everything in the box. Well, except for that rubber band. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe that rubber band is the engine. Let's look at the directions again. Wow, when I put the airplane together, I left out a step. I forgot to put the rubber band on it. The next picture shows someone winding up the propeller with a finger. <laughs> the rubber band makes the propeller spin, just like the engine on a real plane. Let's give your plane another test flight. This is your pilot Noah speaking. I'm ready for takeoff. This time for sure. Go ahead, Noah. <laughs> it works, it really flies. <laughs> Phew, just in time for the science fair. And this is the airport. This is your pilot Noah speaking. <laughs> I'm ready for takeoff. The propeller pulls the plane through the air. The wings lift the plane into the sky. The tail keeps the plane flying straight. <laughs> and this rubber band is the engine that makes the propeller spin. Great pilot project, Noah. Thanks for working on it with me, Franny. Do you want to look at the other science projects now? Sorry, Noah. I have to fly. I've got a project that needs work, too. Bye, Franny. Drop it anytime. Goodbye, Noah. What a fantabulous flight! rubber band, or an engine for a model airplane. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. Grandpa, are there directions on the seed packet? There sure are, Franny. I may have missed a step, just like Noah. His project wasn't working either. Noah? His model airplane wouldn't fly, so we looked at the directions and he missed a step. He forgot to use the rubber band for an engine. Let's see. Plant in soil, mm-hmm. Two centimeters deep, mm-hmm. Water well. Water, that's it. I forgot to water my seed. Uh-oh. Plants need to drink water, just like people do. No wonder my seed didn't grow. <laughs> there. I hope my seed grows this time, Grandpa. We'll have to wait and see. You were just a little seed. Then you grew into a plant. And now you have a flower. I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of you, too. Way to grow, Franny. Where will my feet 
take me tomorrow. Do you like Christmas, Grandpa? No. You don't? I don't like Christmas. <laughs> Bellissimo, I love Christmas. Zowie! Present! I wonder what this is. <laughs> Let's finish decorating the tree, Franny. The presents are the best part. A customer! Season's greetings. How can we help you today? My band is giving a holiday concert at the Jewish Community Center. But these new shoes keep squeaking. Oh, my. Don't worry. A bit of tweaking will stop all this squeaking. Franny, will you take these to the fix-it box, please? Okie dokie, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. That's okay. I think it rolled under here. I'm Jacob. I'm Franny. Sorry I made you lose your top. That's okay. Look, here it is. <laughs> where is here? Here? Why, we're in Israel. Look at those candles. Is it your birthday today? No, it's a holiday. Ooh, Christmas? No, my family celebrates Hanukkah, the festival of lights. Jacob, give a hand, please. Okay, Mom. Mom's making my favorites. <gasps> Come on! Jeepers, that smells good. Hello there. Hi, I'm Franny. Nice to meet you. Oh, not too close now, Franny. I'm frying souf gagnotte, and the oil's very hot. Jacob, could you bring me another plate, please? What? Saf... Saf... Hmm... Souf gagnotte? Jam donuts. Mom makes them every Hanukkah. See, a long time ago, there was a temple which only had enough oil to light the lamps for one night. But something happened, and there was enough oil for eight nights. So every Hanukkah, we remember that miracle by cooking foods in oil. Would you like to try one? Can I have one too, Mom? Just one. I don't want you spoiling your appetite for dinner. Fantastic! <laughs> you missed a bit. Got it. Could you and Franny take these to the dining table? I'll get started on the latkes. That's potato pancakes. Here, you take one plate and I'll take the other. Looks good. Yes. But I think the table needs some decoration. My mom likes to decorate our dinner table with red poinsettias and green holly. Hanukkah colors are more blue and white. Hmm. What can we use? Hmm. Hmm. How about some flowers? I bet we can find some blue and white ones. Come on! white flowers we can use? How about some of those roses? Oh, hi, Mrs. Shapiro. This is my friend, Franny. Nice meeting you, Franny. You just have to watch out for thorns. Mmm, these 
smell nice. We're making a flower decoration for Hanukkah. Do you celebrate Hanukkah? I do, but this year my family isn't able to come and visit me. So, I'll be on my own. That's too bad. We'd better get back inside. For you, happy Hanukkah. Why, thank you, Jacob. Bye. Hey, Jacob, don't you get presents at Hanukkah? Well, we sometimes get little treats like sweets, but mostly at Hanukkah, we try to do good deeds. What's a good deed? You know, something nice for someone else. Like giving toys and books to a needy family. I know a good deed we can do. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't. But you have to. We can play dreidel. And Jacob's mom made latkes and stuff. Stuff. Jelly donuts. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Lead the way. So if the dreidel lands on this, I win a chocolate? That's right. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. You got the gimel. That means you won. Sammy! Mom! Mom! It's time to light the menorah. Why don't you and Franny do the honors? Mrs. Shapiro, would you like to put a new candle in the menorah? What's a menorah? This is the menorah. Each candle represents the days of Hanukkah. Today is the eighth day, so we add a new candle. And we light all of them with this. Here, you can help me light the candles. Happy Hanukkah, everyone! Happy Hanukkah! Candles are so pretty. It's just like when my grandpa turns on the Christmas tree lights. <gasps> Oopsie! I better skedaddle. I'm supposed to be helping Grandpa get his store ready for Christmas. Bye, everyone! I'm glad you could join us, Franny. Me too! Bye, Bye Franny! Shalom! Goodbye, and thanks for such a happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Season's greetings. I'm back. <laughs> a Hanukkah chocolate, just like the ones at Jacob's house. Another treasure for my shoebox. Ah, oh, Franny, there you are. It's time to put the star on top of the tree. Then our Christmas holidays can start good and proper. Sorry I took a while. I was celebrating Hanukkah with Jacob. We lit a menorah and played dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. And Jacob's mom made us latkes. <laughs> oh, and best of all, Jacob and I did a good deed. We invited Mrs. Shapiro to celebrate with us so she didn't have to spend the holidays by herself. For doing such a good deed, I think you deserve to open a present. No, thanks. You don't want to open a present? Uh-uh. But I'm ready to give one. <laughs> Bellissimo. <laughs> that is one of the best presents I've ever received. Mm. Ready? Ready. 
<laughs> Have a happy holiday!